Hey guys, it's me, it's Kenyatta. So today I thought I'd do another lunchtime read and I'm still reading snippets out of my best-selling book, Passing is Straight, because I really enjoy all of the chapters and I just wanna give you a kind of a taste of what you can expect to read when you purchase the book if you haven't purchased the book already. And I just wanna share with you that if you have purchased the book, please go ahead and take some time to leave a review because as you know, authors love reviews. So today I'm gonna to be reading a snippet out of the book, Passing a Straight again, and I'm gonna be reading my co-author Shahida Johnson's chapter. Now Shahida Johnson, Shahida Johnson is really extraordinary. I just adore her so much. She is actually hearing impaired. And so we communicated, you know, mainly through text and email, but she was so excited and so thrilled to get her story out there. And so I was, you know, more than pleased to include her in this um, six woman book anthology. So Shahida's chapter is called The Lonely Secret. So here's the snippet. My journey to coming out as bisexual finally began when I met Chanel. Although slightly older than me, Chanel is the definition of a black beauty goddess. Due to my finances not being set up right and some other personal reasons, I had to move to a neighborhood once more. I moved to a new one in Pottstown, Pennsylvania. And it is at this place that I met Chanel. She was a single mother with two kids, but she had a man who I later got to know was her baby daddy who visited regularly. I would fantasize about Chanel in private and I never imagined we could ever become friends or lovers. First, I didn't know she was bisexual. And secondly, she looked out of my league. Things, however, took a wild turn after some months of my arriving at Pottstown, Pennsylvania. Chanel must have noticed me constantly admiring her or spotted me glancing lustfully at her. How it happened next, exactly, I don't remember. What I know is that she began to return my glances. And later, she would wave in greetings. Not long afterward, changing the page, Chanel began visiting me at my home over time. And that's how we became friends. It is difficult to explain our relationship and how it started. Chanel is not very vast in sign communications, but somehow we got along. We started exchanging late night text and chat, which later grew into flirting. One Friday morning, she came over to my place. One thing led to another, and what happened next is etched in my memory as one of the most amazing sexual, sexual encounters I have ever had. So I want to stop right there. Again, this is a snippet of Shahida Johnson's chapter in my best-selling book, Passing is Straight. In order to figure out what else happened between Sh Shahida, Chanel, and how Shahida decided to walk in her truth, and what has happened since her deciding to walk in her truth, you've got to read the book. So it's available now on Amazon. Target, uh, my website, Kenyatta, kenyattagray.com. So I hope that you all are enjoying these sessions of me reading different snippets of the book. There's more to come. Stay tuned. Have a great day.